What's up guys, Logicon here back again with another video. It seems like every once in a while I do something different like this where um, I maybe have a different style of video, just something I'm sort of feeling at the time. Um, and who knows, maybe one of these days I'll pick a routine and, and actually stick with it. Um, but today's video actually focuses around Project One Earth. And I know probably a bunch of you guys haven't heard of this before, um, but it's sort of something I started um, a, a little, just a few weeks ago, just planning on cleaning up the earth um, and giving back to the Pure Earth Foundation. Um, now they do a lot of work uh, overseas in a lot of third world countries, um, and we all know that pollution is a big environmental issue, but they also see it as a health issue with uh, factories that work with lead and gold releasing toxins into the air that are hurting the surrounding areas and their communities. Um, so I figured I'd start this Project One Earth initiative sort of just to give back to them and um, also just help clean up this local St. Louis area. Um, so that's sort of what we're going to be doing today. I went on a walk yesterday about five miles and the things that I saw along the walk sort of upset me quite a lot. Um, so today we're going to be going and picking up some of that trash that I saw along the roads and I'll show you guys sort of what it looks like and hopefully we can clean up a nice stretch of this road that I'll be working on. Um, I know it's just a small impact but every little thing helps um, and you know it's better said that we all share this one earth so you know why not help. Alright guys well we are out here on this big road you can see there are tons of cars that travel this road on a daily basis and I figured best start to spot or best place to start is just where we see some trash first so you can see down here there's just lots of little things like this you can see there's lots of cars going by um, but I'll update you guys you know throughout as I'm picking up trash it's gonna be hard to film and pick up trash at the same time so I'm just gonna you know when I see something big I might uh, stop and film that Otherwise, I'll just keep you guys updated uh, the whole time as I pick up some more trash. Um, hopefully, I can get this road um, a little bit better. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so here we are guys, um, pretty much the whole section I did so far um, was just up to right there where the road changed a little bit. It's hard to see at this angle, but it's about right there on my finger. And we already got all this much stuff, which is just insane, man. All this stuff in here is just crazy. You can see Dr. Pepper cans, protein shakes, a blizzard. Chick-fil-A cup, all this stuff. I mean, there's more there gloves that I found. I think the craziest thing that I found was a drug test kit. Um, I can only hope that that was just someone's personal item and that, um, you know, a law enforcement officer didn't leave that behind because we really don't need, you know, you know, officials like that leaving stuff behind. It just makes the situations worse. And, you know, I'm sure that I didn't even get everything along this stretch of road. But I really tried. I can even see there's something right there. I'll pick that up in a minute. Um, but man, there's just all this stuff in here. I mean, it is probably, you know, quarter of the way full now. And I only went probably, you know, 50 feet. So this road, I guarantee you there'll be more. I have about three bags, hoping to fill up each one of them. Um, so I'm gonna keep moving though, and uh, hopefully we can get something done here. Let me just show you guys, like, this is local stuff. This is not just like the areas that you don't think about. You can see in here, let me grab some of this. Taco Bell bag, Chick-fil-A bag. Looks like some, a White Claw. I mean, there is stuff everywhere, man. Looks like someone lost this part of their car. I'm gonna throw this back up in the truck real quick. But seriously guys, like this is, I know it's hard to see in here because it's so tall, the grass is just so tall, but it's it's bad, like it's a serious problem. So guys, that was literally only like five feet, 
that we left from the top. We just picked up this stuff. I'll throw that in the bag. I didn't have enough hands though. I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of car this goes to, but uh, somebody lost a big piece of their car. Um, so yeah, I'll throw this stuff in there. But you can see fast food, alcohol, big things that people uh, are leaving behind as I can see from the back here. So I'll show you guys just real briefly. It's, it's really sad. You know, I'm out here picking up trash. And as you know, the, the One Earth logo is a turtle with the earth on its back. And you can see here, this turtle, this turtle has passed away. And um, it's just really sad seeing all this, this stuff like this. You can see way back there, there's, there's even stuff, a little Sprite bottle all the way back there. It's just kind of disheartening seeing all this. Um, that's why we're out here just picking stuff up, getting stuff going. We're about that far from the truck. Just want to get stuff picked up. You know, I don't know if you died from pollution, you know, but uh, just sort of make the environment a little nicer. I got another update for you. Here in, I think that was our third stop. We, we can't even see where we stopped all the way back up there now. Uh, we found some more cool things. Uh, we found this foam noodle. That was pretty cool. Had to carry that the whole way. Um, found this maybe like piece of siding or something. I'm not sure what this is, but I had to carry that too. It's pretty big. Put that with the collection over there. We found like seven or eight bottles of Fireball. You can see one down there. Let's see if it'll focus on it. Uh, but there were like six or seven of those, maybe, maybe even more. But I, I found that was just in this section too, from like right over here where my truck starts to up up there past that uh, speed limit sign. You can see a little bit I went up to there. We filled up this bag most of the way. Um, it's getting a little heavy to carry though when we're walking, so I am going to tie this one up. I'll start another bag. Um, yeah, but we found a lot of. Just disgusting stuff in here, guys. It is, I mean, it's kind of sad that I'm having to pick up all this trash, um, but I think it's something that, that needs to be done by somebody. Um, and hopefully, maybe after you guys watch this, uh, maybe you'll take the initiative also. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna close this bag up and then uh, I'll get moving up the road. We'll get started on another bag. All right, guys, so it's getting pretty windy out there. I think that I am just gonna start making these in here uh, just so it's a little bit quieter. That way you can actually uh, hear what I'm talking about and um, we'll start going from there just doing it like this um, but my next section is gonna be I just stopped after that I don't know if you can see it up there try and bring it into focus at that uh, that speed limit sign right there I'm gonna stop up a little bit past there and work my way up the hill see how far I can get it looks like it may rain today um, hopefully it holds off but we'll see what we can do um, and I'll update you then. So this is where we're at guys. Uh, we just found a chewy box Which I know probably would eventually decompose out there, but we found a lot of other cool things uh, a, a whole bunch of more uh, Fireball bottles a lot more alcohol people really love to throw that out the window. I guess uh, Three polar pop cups some lion's choice. That's the first lion's choice. Actually, we had the first McDonald's thing I don't know if you can see it there. It's a fry box a medium fry uh, a lot of cool things in here that just didn't need to be on the ground. Um, as well as I also found a PVC pipe. Couldn't fit that in the bag, so I had to carry that one. Um, but yeah, definitely a, a lot of cool things. A bunch of metal and stuff like that. Especially up there past uh, where the guardrail is. I don't know if you can see that through the window. Um, there's a guardrail just up there a little bit. There was a ton up lined along there. Just I guess it couldn't, you know, roll down into the grass. So, and I'm sure I've missed a bunch uh, from where I've been, but I definitely have picked up a lot. All right, guys. Right after I said that, it did start to um, rain a little bit. Uh, I know it's not much, but I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna call it done for today. Uh, we'll pick it back up um, next time I can. I'll record that also. Uh, we'll pick up right here, right past the guardrail, um, and we'll keep moving our way up this whole road. Um, and just see how much we can get done. Maybe we can get some more people to help us out, speed things up a little bit, drive them around, and um, get things done. Um, if that's something you're interested in, uh, just uh, drop a comment down below. I will message you. We'll see if we can get something figured out, a time that we can uh, help clean up the environment. 
And uh, if you guys do know a place where you think needs uh, a little bit of cleanup just like this road, drop that down in the comments also. Uh, let me know where it's at and I will um, be more than happy to go and help pick that up this summer um, or anytime actually. Um, so with that being said guys, just uh, leave a comment, whatever you think. Um, leave a like on the video and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm sure some more content like this will be coming your way. Um, this is actually a pretty fun day. Uh, gets me out of the house during all this COVID stuff. Um, and I had a pretty good time recording it. Um, so I think we'll, we'll be sure to do some more. Um, anyway, guys, I will catch you later and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye. doesn't care enough about pollution. We think of pollution as an environmental issue. We do not think of pollution as a health issue.